The House of Representatives has approved President Tinubu's request to extend implementation of the capital aspect of the 2023 budget to December 31st this year. The House also passed another executive bill to extend the 2023 supplementary budget to December 31st. Now, the House dissolved into executive session a few minutes after the commencement of plenary, shortly after the introduction of the two bills by House Leader Honorable Julius Iovere to deliberate on the request from the President to extend the lifespan of the capital component of the 2023 budget and the supplementary budget to December the 31st. Now, the passage of the two bills will be the third time the lifespan of the capital component of the budget and the supplementary budget will be extended. This is a fairly straightforward request which entails not altering the content of the budget but essentially the dates to allow for effective implementation uh, to the benefit of Nigeria and all Nigerians. That essentially the date be adjusted from 30th June 2024 to 31st December 2024. And like I said, this is to make life easy for everyone to complete the project because we don't want abandoned projects. I urge my colleagues to please support this so that there will be no excuses. Now, members were, however, divided on legal and the moral or moral reasons given for the request and subsequent approval of the request by the National Assembly. We will not just criticize, but provide an alternative side. And therefore, I will suggest that the House leader steps down this bill. And then we go back to the drawing board, look at it, all the projects that are contained in 2023 budget and 2023 supplementary budget. We take them over to the 2024 supplementary budget so that we can have just two budgets running in the country. That way, we would have achieved everything that we intend to achieve. You have two substantive budgets, 2023, being extended to 31st of December and running them concurrently. You have other supplementary budgets sir, being carried also, at the same time, Mr. Speaker, I want to say without any fear of contradiction that they may be legal, but that moral, that moral, moral feeling, that moral responsibility, Mr. Speaker, that moral questions will always be raised. Reason why I rise to say so, Mr. Speaker, is for us as a house and an institution, why we have no cause whatsoever to stop it, I will be for it. And I will urge people to be for it. But at least at this critical moment, we must unite ourselves and we must stand collectively. Now, during the executive session, the Speaker, Abbas Tajuddin, appealed to members to allow the passage of the extension of the capital component to allow for procurement of items contained in it, which he said are more security-related items. The House and Committee of Supply considered the report on the bill for an act to amend the appropriation Act 2023 to further extend the implementation of the capital aspect of the appropriation Act 2023 from 30 June 2024 to 31 December 2024 and for related matters. And in so doing, we have approved clauses 1 and 2. Clause 3 as amended, explanatory memorandum and the long title of the bill.